Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read I Can Do It by Tracy Corduroy and Caroline Pedler. If you have a copy, go get it and read along. Baby Bear had a new backpack. It was brilliant, but the big green button was tricky for little paws. All morning, Baby Bear tried and tried to open and close it. Mommy, look, he cried at last. I can do it. Clever you, Mommy said. Why don't we pop some books in to take back to the library? I can do it, Baby Bear smiled, and he squeezed all the books into his backpack. Every one. But it was just a bit too heavy. Oops! Mommy took a few books out to carry, then tried to help with his coat. No, I can do it, Baby Bear said. He wriggled into it and did up all the buttons. Come on, Barnaby, he said to his toy bunny. Let's go. Baby Bear skipped into town and stopped at the crosswalk. I can press the button, he said, but somebody else pressed it first. I wanted to do it, Baby Bear grumbled, and he plodded on sadly with Mommy. At the library, Baby Bear raced off to find Barnaby's favorite bunny book, but it was up very high. Don't worry, Barnaby, said Baby Bear. I'll get it. He stood on tippy toes, but he couldn't reach. He hopped and he jumped, but he still couldn't reach. Oh no, said Baby Bear. He really wanted to get the book all by himself. So Baby Bear built a big tower of cushions and he climbed right to the top. But suddenly the tower started to sway. Wibble, wobble. Oh no, cried Baby Bear, and down he tumbled. Bump! Mommy! he howled, and Mommy rushed over. Oh, Baby Bear, she said. You must take care. I couldn't reach the story, sniffed Baby Bear. Mommy gave him a big hug. You can do lots of things by yourself, but when things are a bit too tricky, you just need to ask for help. Okay, Baby Bear nodded. Mommy helped reach the story. Baby Bear and Barnaby then turned the pages and Mommy read the words. Sometimes having a little bit of help was fine. When it was time to go, Baby Bear packed his backpack and helped Mommy with her coat. I can do it, Baby Bear said. Thank you, Baby Bear, smiled Mommy. Then Baby Bear skipped off home singing. I can do it, look at me. I'm as clever as can be. But when things are hard to do, you are there to help me too. Now I clap my hands and say, I can do it. Hip, hooray. The end. What a great story. Thanks for joining me. And just like Baby Bear, don't forget to ask for help when you need it to help keep you safe. Don't forget to check out my other books, like and subscribe, and I hope you read along with me next time. Bye.